let's simplify the fraction 24 36. And here's how we do it. We're trying to find another fraction that has the same value. It's an equivalent fraction. It's just that we've reduced or simplified it to lowest terms. So to do that, we need to find a factor that goes into 24 and 36. We're looking for what's called a common factor. We want the greatest common factor. So these are the factors of 24 and 36. So we have 24 and 36. We're looking for the greatest common factor. And that appears to be looks like 12. So 12 is the greatest common factor. So we'll divide 24 by 12 and 36 by 12, and we'll have simplified 24 over 36. Let's move this over here. So 24 divided by 12, that gives us two, and then 36 divided by 12 gives us three. So we've simplified the fraction 24, 36 down to two thirds, and we can't simplify this any further. These are equivalent fractions. If you divide 24 by 36 or two by three, you get the same answer. It's just that we've simplified 24 over 36 down to two over three. If you didn't know that 12 went into 24 and 36, you could try something like six, divide six into 24 and 36, and then simplify the resulting fraction down to two thirds. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.